Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Persona 4 Golden. Last episode we started, quote-unquote, with our investigation on another person aside from Namatame, who might be, well, who is probably responsible for the murders, and today we're gonna go and just continue with the investigation. You met up with your friends after you, get, uh, you finished gathering information. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well... One steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. You all finished eating the dishes that you ordered. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside to get some fresh air. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get uh, get over to roadblock facing it. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... <laughs> wow. Teddy. Not Teddy, though. Someone else. Someone else. Tachi... Ooh, Adachi. 
Mayumi Yamano. Kinshira Moroka Mitsuo. Oh my god, I don't know. Misuzu Hiragi though, but she isn't... Hmm. Misuzu Hiragi, this is... Noriko Kashiwa... I don't know these people. <laughs> Wasn't Misuzu the, the, the singer lady? Shit. I haven't saved. <laughs> so if I fuck this up, I need to get the information again. Uh, I read about this um, when it came to like the true ending. There was another moment where you needed to say the culprit's name, and I don't know. <laughs> Let's go uh, through the list for a bit. Think once again. And this is something that I gotta say, like I haven't done. I haven't done his. His support link things. He hasn't been available for a lot of times. You know, like, I think whenever you do a game that is like, has some kind of a crime shenanigans going, you start to suspect everybody, really. You start to suspect everybody you see. And. Yeah, I would say that Adachi is one that I suspected for a long time. And then decided to be like, nah. Nah, I don't think so. When I saw him in the list over here, I was like, hmm, Adachi. And according to what I looked up online, you're supposed to choose Adachi. Of course, if you uh, if you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so... Everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Hmm. I wonder if he knew Miss Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up, was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. 
Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various popular peculiarities have begun to cast suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then, is it really Adachi-san? Hmm. We need to confirm this. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is now Toshirogane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's reloc- We must head there at once. Things are moving quickly now. You feel like you're getting closer to the truth. Wow. <laughs> this game. Oh. What a journey, man. What a journey. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez. With Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. <laughs> Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. <laughs> Question. <laughs> um... Batsaki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. About when Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Hmm. About the warning letter. <laughs> Oh boy, shoving it straight into his face. The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. 
Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous! We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in! What did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? <laughs> mm. Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder? Would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! <laughs> ah, I see. Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. <sighs> I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Let's go tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Uh, the extremely suspicious Detective Adachi, you've taken another step closer to the truth. Christ almighty. Why do they keep doing this with like making the culprit very close to you? Or putting the culprit very close to you in these cases. You split up for today and uh, you all went back home. Well, at least we know now. No more playing the guessing game, it's just Adachi. <laughs> You're tired from today. Go and sleep. Like a good boy. Yep.
Well. Hmm. This? It seems you've come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again, but something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Or you see Teddy. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? Welcome <laughs> to the Velvet Room. Uh, oh, that should have been a that should have been a thing you could, you should be able to say. Hmm. I think it's a dream. I see. How mysterious! There are so many things I don't know about, but I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am, but I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Hmm. Just a shadow. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her. I'm really sorry. You saved her, Teddy. Huh? Uh, really? You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana Chance? Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? <laughs> Something like that. Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense that is pure and deep gratitude. 
as they max out this star. Archon. Good. Hello, the ultimate form of the star Arcana. And Teddy's persona should normally change also. The light bearer. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Evade electric. Uh, that's your one weakness though. Hmm. Samara Karm, Ice Boost, Maracunda, Apophidine, ooh. Triples evasion against electric attacks though. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of Gigantic Fist. Because I really like decreasing the defense. Well, I guess I can do that with my character. Well... Nah, I'm gonna get rid of Gigantic Fist. There we go. But I have to no? get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. No persona changing. It's very interesting though. Before you know it, Teddy is gone and Igor, Margaret and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, -hmm. very interesting. He grows a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. <laughs> Interesting. All of this is very interesting. <laughs> How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. this fog is it's gotten even worse than before what the there's this malicious aura everywhere it feels completely different from the last time i was here i think we'd better hurry give me a sec to try finding adachi does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up our glasses work on the fog on the other side it can't be normal, and I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... Maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Hmm. 
<laughs> this place. <sighs> I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard your voice. You said, hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone else too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And there's two. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Ah, here it is. That is uh, Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart through power. That his persona has been reborn. Kentoku Doji has transfigured into Kamui. Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> it's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risa chan If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all, but he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense. It's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless! Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> um... Risei-chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! Sorry, I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me, 
and that world. I wanted to tell you all. Listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That it was only a shadow. And that through here, uh, that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I'm so glad I met you guys! The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? Isn't that just you, senpai? Hey! That's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Geez, stop crying, <laughs> will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Wow! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top, starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. You've taken another step towards the truth. <sighs> it feels pretty dang good though, getting this explanation about a lot of things. It really helps me. Because I'm stupid. A little bit. <laughs> Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decide to go home for today. Adoha. Perfect time for me to save my game and end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jitsu. I was playing Persona 4 Golden, and next episode we're gonna go and do something. I have no idea if I'm instantly gonna be going into the V world and starting the entire chase after Adachi, or in any case, starting, you know. If I take a look at these things, the quests that I still need to get stuff from, I still need. No, I don't think I need that anymore. I think I already got the. Yeah, right. So what do I need to get? Let me go and take a look before I end of this episode just to give you guys an idea about what I still need to do because I feel like it's handy to know. So... Ah, I see, okay. Yeah. I, like, the next set of quests I can get is after 
the 10th uh, of January. And these four quests are the only ones I can get right now. Whoopsie. And these ones require me to defeat some enemies in heaven. So, that's fine. Alright, people. Goodbye.